Now please see the next varieties of questions in allegations sir. These are the next varieties of questions what we are discussing right now. Now please see this question. The acid and water in two vessels A and B are in the ratio 2 is to 5 and 5 is to 8. That means there are two vessels. This is vessel A and the second vessel is named as vessel B. In the first vessel the acid and water ratio is given as 2 is to 5. In the second vessel, the acid and water ratio is given as 5 is to 8. This is what is given in the first statement. Read the next statement. In what ratio should the liquid in both the vessels be mixed to obtain a new mixture in vessel C containing acid and water in the ratio 4 is to 9? That means there is another vessel. That vessel is named as vessel C. Right? That vessel is named as vessel C. What they are saying is, you need to take some liquid. You need to take a liquid in both the vessels and those liquids should be mixed. And the mixed liquid should be obtained in a new vessel C. Suppose in vessel A, I will take some liquid. In vessel B also, I will take some liquid. When I take some liquid in vessel A and as well as in vessel B, the acid and water in vessel C, it will be in the ratio 4 is to 9. In what ratio you should pick up that liquids in vessels A and B and you should mix those liquids. In what ratio you need to pick up the liquids from A and B and mix it so that you will get another mixture called as mixture C in vessel C that contains acid and ratio water in the ratio 4 is to 9 that is the question i hope the question is very very clear for you people now see here sir i can do this question i can solve this question in two ways now there are two parameters in this question first parameter is a which is nothing but acid second parameter is w which is nothing but water i will pick up my method one solving with respect to acid. I will solve it in method 1. I will also solve the first question in method 2 in this variety and I will solve it in both the methods so that you understand it does not matter which method you are solving in your examination. Now see here. If I pick the first parameter acid, that means I am trying to work with this parameter called as acid. Now see here. If I pick this parameter acid in vessel A, 2 liters of acid is present, 5 liters of water is present, totally 7 liters of solution is present. Out of total 7 liters present in vessel A, how many liters belongs to acid? 2 liters belongs to acid. So it is 2 out of 7. Why are you taking acid? Because in first method I am working with acid. Similarly, in vessel B, out of total 5 plus 8, 13. 5 liters belongs to acid. 5 liters belongs to acid. In vessel C, out of total 4 plus 9, 13, 4 liters belongs to acid. I hope this particular part is very, very clear for you. 2 by 7 is nothing but out of total 2 plus 5, 7 liters, 2 liters belongs to acid. Out of total 5 plus 8, 13 liters, 5 liters belongs to acid. Out of total 4 plus 9, 13 liters, 4 liters belong to acid. Now, I got the values as 2 by 7, 5 by 13 and 4 by 13. But I don't want to continue the problem in this format itself because of the simple reason that 2 by 7 is a fraction, 5 by 13 is a fraction, 4 by 13 is also a fraction. I don't like to work with fraction. I want to work with whole numbers. So convert all these fractional values to whole number values. How do you convert these fraction to whole numbers? I have taught you in multiple cases, take the LCM. That means, I do not want the denominator to be present. If the denominator is present, it is considered as fraction. If there is no denominator, it is not a fraction. So, what I will do is, I want to cancel those denominator. To cancel those denominator, here the denominator is 7. In the other two cases, the denominators are 13. It is 13 in both the cases. So, I want to cancel both 7 as the denominator and 13 as the denominator. So, multiply by both 7 and 13. Multiply by both 7 and 13. If I multiply by both 7 and 13, 2 by 7 into 7, 7 will cancel and you are left with multiplying 2 only with 13. So, it is nothing but 2 into 13. It is 26. 
5 by 13 into 13. 13 cancels with this 13. You are left with multiplying 5 with this 7. 5 into 7 is 35. 4 by 13 into 7 into 13. 13 again cancels. 4 into 7 is 28. That means your question is in what ratio should the liquids in both vessels A and B should be mixed? to obtain a new mixture in the ratio in the vessel C containing acid and water in the ratio 4 is to 9. That means in what ratio they should be mixed. Q1 by Q2 is what they are asking you indirectly. It says that it is P2 minus P. It is 35 minus 28 which is 7 divided by P minus P1, 28 minus 26, which is 2. In what ratio you should mix vessel A and vessel B, liquids from vessel A and vessel, a and vessel B, you should mix it in the ratio 7 is to 2. That should be the answer, which is nothing but option B. Now, you might get a doubt. We are working taking acid as the base parameter in this case. I got the answer as 7 by 2. If I take the base parameter as water, which is nothing by my uh, nothing but my method 2, will I still get the same ratio 7 is to 2? Definitely yes. Definitely you will get the same ratio 7 is to 2. Let us check out in working with method 2 by taking water as our base parameter. Now see here, same thing I will write. In vessel A, acid and water, it is given in the ratio of 2 is to 5. And in vessel B, the acid and water is given in the ratio 5 is to 8. I need to take some proportions of mixtures in both these, in uh, liquids in both these vessels and mix it to form vessel C. To form vessel C having acid and water. In what ratio acid and water is present? It is 4 is to 9. Now see here. In method 1. I solved by taking acid as the base parameter. In method 2, I will take water as my base parameter. Let me check whether I will get the same answer or not. I am taking some proportion of acid and water. I am taking some proportion of acid and water in vessel B also. Mixing both the vessels liquids. Liquids of both the vessels I am mixing. I am putting it to another vessel, new vessel called as vessel C. And the acid and water is in the ratio 4 is to 9 in vessel see in what ratio should I pick up acid and water in vessel A and vessel B so as to form vessel C in the ratio 4 is to 9 is the question now see here I am taking water as my base parameter same logic whatever I discussed for acid as base parameter I will take the same logic here also here in vessel A out of total 2 plus 7 5 liter sorry out of total 2 plus 5 7 liters 5 liters belongs to water. So it is 5 out of 7. Why are we taking water? Because we are taking base parameter of water in method 2 and we are trying to solve it. Similarly, in vessel B, out of total 5 plus 8, 13 liters. 8 liters belongs to water. And in vessel C, out of total 4 plus 9, 13 liters. 9 liters belongs to water. But I don't want to work just like this with fractions. I want to definitely work with whole numbers to simplify my problem. So multiply by LCM. LCM of 7 and 13 is, it is 7 into 13. If I solve it, if I solve it, 5 by 7 into 7 by 13. 7 will cancel, it is 5 into 13, 65. 8 by 13 into 7 by 13. 8, 13 cancels, 8 into 7, it is 56. 9 by 13 into 7 into 13. 13 cancels, it is 9 into 7, 63. If I take the ratio, if I alligate right now, Q1 by Q2 ratio is P2 minus P. 56 minus 63. It is minus 7 divided by P minus P1. 63 minus 65. It is minus 2. Minus 7 divided by minus 2 is nothing but 7 by 2. Either you take the first parameter acid as your base reference like the way I did in method 1 or you take the second parameter water as your base reference like the way I did in method 2. Either ways if you have not done any calculation mistakes you will definitely end up with the same answer for this particular question as 7 by 2. Answer for this beautiful variety of question in allegation is 7 by 2. I hope the idea is very very clear for you people.
प्लीज सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अगेन ए सिमिलर वैरायटी ऑफ क्वेश्चन लेट अस सी डिफरेंट वैरायटीज ऑफ क्वेश्चंस इन सॉल्विंग दिस एलिगेशन क्वेश्चन नाउ सी हियर सर प्लीज सी दिस क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन आवर एलिगेशन नाउ सी हियर सेम क्वेश्चन इट देयर इज नो डिफरेंस बट लेट अस प्रैक्टिस वन मोर क्वेश्चन फॉर आवर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग टू वेजल्स ए एंड बी contain milk and water mixed in the ratio 5 is to 3 and 2 is to 3 respectively there are two vessels vessel a and there is another vessel vessel b milk and water is in the ratio 5 is to 3 in the second vessel milk and water is in the ratio 2 is to 3 this is my first statement when these mixtures are mixed to form a new mixture containing half milk and half water i am mixing these two vessels i am mixing the mixtures or or liquids of these two mixtures or vessels and i am putting into another vessel called as vessel c for example this vessel c contains milk and water in equal ratio it says they are mixed to form a new mixture containing half milk and half water that means milk and water are in the ratio 1 by 2 is to 1 by 2 1 by 2 is to 1 by 2 is nothing but 1 is to 1 they must be taken in what ratio they must be taken in what ratio is your question now see here listen to this carefully sir in what ratio you need to take the mixtures of milk and water in vessels a and b so that my vessel c will consist of milk and water in the ratio 1 is to 1 that is your question now same logic you take any parameter as your base reference like the way i thought in my previous problem either milk or water let me take milk as the base reference if i take milk as my base reference so if i calculate out of total 5 plus 3 8 liters 5 liters belongs to milk in vessel a out of total 2 plus 3 5 liters 2 liters belongs to milk in vessel b out of total 1 plus 1 2 liters 1 liter belongs to milk in vessel c now i do not want to continue further because this consist of fractions so i want to simplify by taking lcm lcm of 8 5 and 2 it is 8 into 5 right lcm of first of all 2 and 8 it is nothing but 8 itself 8 and 5 is 8 into 5 which is 40 now if i simplify further this becomes 5 by 8 into 8 into 5 8 cancels it is 5 into 5 25 2 by 5 into 8 into 5, 5 cancels. 2 into 8, 16. 1 by 2 into 8 into 5, 8 into 5 is 40. 40 half, half of 40 is 20. Now they are asking you in what ratio they need to be mixed. Q1 by Q2 ratio is P2 minus P. 16 minus 20 is minus 4 divided by P minus P1. 20 minus 25 is minus 5. Remove the minus in both numerator and denominator, or in other words, minus divided by minus is minus is positive. Answer for this question is how much? It is four by five. Next question. This is a small extension of my previous two questions, but there is a slight difference. But approach ninety five percentage of the approach from my previous questions remains the same. Now see here. The question says. A person has two different kinds of mixtures. Now there are two mixtures with a person. Let me call those mixtures as mixture one and mixture two. Right? This is my first statement. In the first mixture, the ratio of alcohol and water is three is to four, and that in the second mixture is five is to six. Alcohol and water in the first mixture is three is to four. Second mixture, the ratio is given as five is to six. These are the two statements. As of now, whatever whatever is given in English statement, I have converted to mathematical statement. Next statement says, if he mixes both given mixtures and makes a third mixture of fifty four liters, that means mixture three totally has. 54 liters of solution present this is what is given in the question mixture 3 totally has 54 liters of solution that means totally 54 liters of alcohol and water is present in mixture 3 wherein the ratio of alcohol and water is 4 is to 5 they are saying that 
in mixture 3 the ratio of alcohol and water is 4 is to 5 after mixing mixer mixture 1 and mixture 2 the ratio of mixture 3 the ratio of alcohol and water in mixture 3 is 4 is to 5 then what is the quantity of first mixture whose ratio is 3 is to 4 required to make 54 liters of third mixture what they are saying is in mixture 3 totally 54 liters of solution is present this solution of 54 liters is combination of mixture 1 and mixture 2 how much mixture 1 is present out of these 54 liters of mixture 3 is your question now see here this is again the same kind of problem solving like my previous two questions let me work with any one parameter at the base reference either acid or water whichever you like suppose for example if i take acid as my base reference if i take acid in mixture one out of total three plus four seven liters three liters belong to acid out of total five plus six eleven liters five liters belong to acid out of total four plus nine four plus five nine liters four liters belong to acid but i definitely do not like to work with these fractions as 3 by 7 5 by 11 and 4 by 9 i would like to convert it to whole numbers lcm of 7 11 and 9 all these three numbers are co primes lcm of co primes is nothing but their product multiply the whole thing by 7 into 9 into 11 if i multiply first value becomes 3 by 7 into 7 into 9 into 11. 7 cancels. So it is 3 into 9 into 11. First value is 3 into 9 into 11. Second one, 11 cancels. It is 5 into 7 into 9. And the middle one is 4 by 9 into 7 into 9 into 11. 9 cancels. It is 4 into 7 into 11. If I simplify all these things, if I simplify 3 into 9 is 27, 27 into 11 is, it is 297, right? It is 297. Similarly, second value is 5 into 7 is 35, 35 into 9 is, it is 315, it is 315. And the last value is 4 into 7 is 28, 28 into 11 is, it is 308. If I take the ratio, Q1 by Q2 ratio is given by 315 minus 308, 7. 308 minus 297, it is 11, right? It is 11. That means Q1 is to Q2 ratio is nothing but 7 is to 11, right? The ratio is 7 is to 11. What is the meaning of 7 is to 11? That means I am taking 7 parts of liquid A or from mixture 1, I am taking 7 parts of mixture and from mixture 2, I am taking 11 parts of that mixture. Totally, I am making it as mixture 3. According to the ratio, 7 liters of mixture A, 11 liters of mixture B, totally 7 plus 11, 18 liters of mixture C. According to ratio, mixture 3 has 18 liters of solution. But according to the question, mixture 3 has 54 liters of solution. 18 is becoming 54. Multiply by 3. What is your question? What is the quantity of first mixture is present? First mixture according to ratio is 3, 7. That also multiply by 3. 7 into 3 is 21. Answer for this question is 21 liter. Suppose if they have asked you, what is the quantity of second mixture which was taken out to form the mixture 3? Then that also multiply by 3. 11 into 3 is 33. But question is not asking you 11 or second uh, second mixture question is asking you the first mixture so the answer is 21 if you want check it out 21 plus 33 is nothing but 54 which is nothing but my mixture 3 i hope the idea of solving this varieties of questions in allegations is very very clear for you people